Uh, this is Dustin Jeffries, and we're here today to review the Viking Lamellar Extra Large Hard Saddlebag with Shock Cutout. Um, I've got it mounted to my 2006 Honda VTX 1300C. Uh, it's a pretty good saddlebag. I'm very happy with it. It's actually my second set of Viking bags on this motorcycle because I had a little unfortunate incident where I had to lay the bike down, and the bags actually protected the bike, and so I replaced it with another set of Viking bags. So very durable bags. I haven't had these quite as long, but I very much expect the same kind of durability out of these, the same kind of quality I got out of my last set of Viking bags. Obviously I like them, replaced them with another set. Um, one of the key features for this saddle bag with me is the lock. I basically commute on my bike and go to the gym, whatever. I want to have a place to lock my gear. So you've got your lock here, closes up real tight. I've been caught out in monsoons. Everything in there came out dry. So I don't, wouldn't know if I'd say it's waterproof, but I've never had a leak. So plus one on Viking. Um, if you look right here at the inside, you can see where the shock cut out to allow the bag to set a little bit closer to the bike. Get room for the shot. Makes it a little bit more aesthetic than having to sit out further away from the bike. Um, one negative I will say about this bag, this bag that I wish Viking wouldn't have done differently. Um, you can see where the shock cut out in this bag extends all the way to the back, which is kind of pointless and creates a couple of problems. First one, if they would just came straight down, that's extra storage space. I mean, storage space is a premium when you're on a bike, of course. But another issue that this causes is if you look at the mounting patterns for the bolts right here, this is your front mounting bar. This is your rear mounting bar. This front nut actually needs to be down here, which it can't be because of the extra cutout. Um, it's not a huge issue. However, it does take away from the stability of the bags. Um, the bags I had before were the smaller size of the same model. They did not have this cutout all the way. They were a lot more stable. So how that affects it long term, I don't know. But so far, so good. I've probably put four or 5,000 miles on these bags since I've got them in this past August. So that's four or five months, and they've held up great. So it may not be a concern, may be a concern down the line. We'll see. Um, lock these bags up. As you can see, they're covered in leather. Um, flow very nice with the lines of the bike. Actually look like they were made for the bike. Um, I like them a lot. Other than that one issue with the cutout, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about it. I've taken several weekend trips on this bike, um, probably at least four or five since I've got these bags, and I've been able to um, fit all the gear that I need. Um, most of the time I can fit enough clothes in one bag and just leave the other bag for incidentals. So, say very large bags, very good storage space. Um, so, yeah, if you're in the market for a set of hard bags, Honestly, I highly recommend these. I don't think you can go wrong with them. Viking um, bags have always been quality to me. So, pick you up a set. 